Welcome to today's game at uh, McLaren Field, Bramley versus Oldham. Let's go through the teams for you. Number four, Ronnie Gouet. Number five, Tony Anderson. Number six, Brett Clark. Number seven, Mike Ford. Number eight, Austin Donegan. Nine, Andy Ruane. Ten, John Fulmouch. Eleven, Paul Rowan. Twelve, Charlie McAllister. And thirteen, Richard Russell. Substitutes, and fourteen, John Cotton. And fifteen, Keith Atkinson. Their master today is Craig Burgess and their team includes number one, Andy Vincent, number two, Stuart Wellborn, three, Peter Lister, four, Marcus Charles, five, Eric Olberts, number six, Steve Carroll, seven, Damien Hunter, number eight, Craig Vincent, nine, Dean Blackley, ten, Gary Hall, 11, Phil Cannell, 12, Steve Edmondson, and 13, Pete Jones. Substitutes, Paul Fletcher, and Carl Green. And the referee, Mr. Carroll, Well, there you go, courtesy of the Bromley Tannoy. Good timing, if anything. I'll quickly go through the Oldham side. Number one, Duncan Platt. Two, Richard Irving. Three, Des Foy. Four, Ronnie Duane. Five, Tony Anderson. Six, Brett Clark. 7 Mike Ford, 8 Austin Donegan, 9 Andy Ruane, 10 John Fieldhouse, 11 Paul Round, 12 Charlie McAllister, 13 Richard Russell, 14 John Cogger, 15 Keith Atkinson. The Bramley side, number 1 Vincent, 2 Hunter, 2 Wellborn, 3 Lister, 4 Charles, 5 Olferts, 6 Carroll, 7 Hunter, 8 Dickinson, 9 Blankley, 10 Hall, 11 Connell, 12 Edmondson, 13 Jones, 14 Green and 15 Fletcher. Bramley having kicked off, Oldham on the 25 line, Brett Clark with the ball, throws it out to Richard Russell, tattled by the opposing number 7, Damien Hunter. John Fieldhouse drives in. McAllister with a big kick downfield. 35, 40 yards. Recovered by the Ramley back to her. Out to number four, Marcus Charles. Making a strong run up the left, but well tackled into touch by Richard Irving. the ball, well out, out to Clark, Des for a plot on a strong run, ball put to ground by Ronnie Duane, the ball a little bit low, put to ground, Oldham now having to recover, good run there by Damien Hunter, making quite good grounds under the conditions, you can see the conditions, from the prop number 10, Gary Hall driving it in. Bramley now trying to swing it wide. Surprisingly, the ball rolls quite a distance, bounces well in the centre of the area between the 25s. The conditions very muddy underneath the snow. There's three or four inches of snow on the ground. Oldham now trying to get steady the game down and get into this game. Austin Donegan. Ford now out to McAllister. Charlie on the run here. McAllister got the ball out. Referees wave play on. Oldham 
need to settle down quickly now and uh, keep Bromley out when they're in possession. Good tackling is needed now in this part of the field. Bromley nine there blankly making little run but nothing coming of it now. Ten Gary Alder, well brought down. Last tackle. It's up in the air. The Bramley Poles are chasing. The two or three of them are on side, but Duncan Platt's well underneath it. Stands his ground well, stands up well there, Duncan, and makes three or four yards. Ford now making a break from acting half back. Sticking over the ball under the circumstances. Russell now from acting half back going to go along, making decent ground there, field house to Ford, Ford dummies, shimmies inside, Ruane out to Clark, on to round, poor round, nice ball from round, on to Des for, Des is going to go for the corner here, smashing run by Des, He's, he's stepped into touch, he's put a foot into touch there. It looked as though he was going for the corner. A good run by Des Floor. He did the right thing, tried to take the Bramley fullback on the outside, but he's put a foot into touch. Scrum down on the on the Bramley five or six yard line. And it's holding the ball. Ford's got the ball here. Goes blindside, but the cover recovers too well. Oldham now with a great opportunity here to open the scoring. Brown's got the ball. Brown well tackled by three Bramley men. Chance for Oldham now to swing it left here. Chance possibly gone now. Brett Clark. Good ball out to Ronnie Duane. Oldham very slow with the play of the ball on the previous occasion when there was chance out on the left hand side of the throwing it out in front of the Bramley sticks now Brett Clark plays his ball forward inside to Anderson inside again to Fiores good backing up by Brett Clark well the referee there giving a forward pass but somebody gave them that with the ball again from the scrum forward trying to make some ground trying to get into a, a decent position good run by Platty well out to Charlie McAllister Charlie McAllister with a good strong run hold him on the attack once again now and the ball there has been, been grasped from Charlie McAllister's hands or has it the referee's given a scrum down anyway feed and this time coming up with the ball good tackling there from Charlie McAllister hold them now round the pen down to their own 25 line conditions you can see obviously the same for both sides but uh, all of them with opportunity to open the scoring in the last few minutes but haven't been able to make anything of it chance for Richard Irving now with a, a little bit of space Richard moves in field good running but he's running sideways but makes decent ground conditions you can see it may deteriorate very very slippery underfoot good running from field house there Ruane out and half back, out to round you now, round is having a run. Four round, good strong running as ever. Four 
forward now, on to Clark, on the run around, forward again to Charlie. Charlie seemed to slip a little on the ground, but all of still in possession now. Forward again, inside to Donegan, nice little inside ball there, but Donegan stumbling as he as he was going forward and finished upon the deck. Forward again now, Oldham looking strong at this point. Platt's going for the corner, nice, nice inside ball off of Ford well the referees appears to have given a knock on there Black looked as though he was going over in the left hand corner but uh, tackled by a couple of Bramley men have they haven't they Yes, Brown to come up in possession now. Pen down on their own 25. And a knock on, another knock on there, which I think you're going to see quite a little of, quite a bit of today. All them put in here now with a chance to make something of this. Ford feeds the scrum. Referee not happy with that. comes up with the ball but heavily tackled by two or three Bramley forwards Richard Russell running the ball in strong to, towards the post chance of something now for Oldham Fieldhouse going to drive it in good ball out to forward and again to round ball round attempting to get the ball out on the wing but the ball's gone to ground and Bramley in possession. Good strong tackle in there from Fieldhouse and Russell. a good decent kick from Bramley quite a lengthy kick under the under the conditions Tony Anderson now trying to get into the game Platter acting half by now he's going to go alone Platt goes again without a marker makes it up to the halfway line forward now switching play to the left out to Clark Clark attempting to go on one of his jinking runs but held by the Bramley forwards. Fieldhouse now driving in. Turns inside and the ball's gone to ground and Bramley in possession now. being driven back there at that time driven back a full 20 yards started off with a slippy ball on the ground and that's going to be the order of the day today kick, kick to the touch line straight into touch on the full Over in there, getting into the uh, spirit of the day, getting the wolf whistles. I don't know why. Strong break from Alden.
there's no desk for it. Desk, desk for it, looking for support. Well, there was no support at hand, unfortunately. Richard Irving came in too late to help hand. Ford now onto Platt. Platt running strongly into the into the post area. Chance of something now. Des Ford, good strong running in. Andy Ruin takes a reverse plot off Des Ford, goes in, on between, in between the posts. Hold him up the scoring after I think about 12 or 13 minutes play. scoring after about 13 minutes or so. Andrew Owen, nice reverse pass off Des Foy under, underneath the post and goal by Duncan Platt. Bramley nil, Oldham six. Ruin now driving the ball back, Oldham. Need to possibly put a few points on in the next 20 minutes or so to get the edge in this cup tie. Conditions always going to be very, very slippy. Slippy underfoot. Holden doing quite well under the circumstances. Holding the ball. Ford now out to Fieldhouse. Fieldhouse driving it in, but overrun by slightly. And the Oldham players expecting John Fieldhouse to go down with the ball then. Nobody ready for the ball, but poor pass back to Duncan Platt. And uh, Platt unfortunately knocked off. Bramley put in here, so one takes it. Could be Bramley possession, which it is. There's a good ball out there, but good defence by Platt and Russell. Bramley swinging the ball right again. Connell there, trying to get Bramley into the game. Bramley attempted to swing the ball wider, but the Oldham cover coming up well, and Bramley gone back 15, 20 yards or so at that play of the ball. Men out on this side, but the ball going to ground and a bit of a scramble there. The referees, the referees waved a knock on. Last tackle, so hand over to Oldham. Short ball to Richard Irvin, who had a man on him immediately as he got the ball and made a good, good effort into the centre of the field. Richard Russell from Action Half back now. Good strong run from Richard. Tackle around the neck. Referee. Pats his chest. Anyway, a good strong run from Ford here, out to round. Oldham attempting to throw the ball about under the conditions. Clark on to Rain now, out to Fieldhouse. Good ball off John Fieldhouse there. Clark now. Poor pass from, poor pass from Duncan Platt under. But Bramley have come up with possession. Hold them a little bit at sixes and sevens there. Good 
tackling by Oldham there, on it in there and Paul around. Bramley making very little headway. Chance here though. Chance here on the left. Good ball out to Marcus Charles. And a brilliant tackle there by Richard Irvin. Marcus Charles was going all the way there. A brilliant tackle by Richard Irvin. But uh, some call it a professional foul. Call it what you like. He, he held him down for longer than was deemed necessary by the referee and they've awarded Bramley a penalty. Steve Carroll with the uh, penalty attempt. Good tackle for Richard Irving there. Bramley made a nice break on the left and Charles was looking as though he might have scooted at the corner until he was brought down by Richard Irving. Carroll there slips, slips as he attempted to go for the kick and the ball's gone wide, recovered by round, good yards by round and onto Duncan Platt. Platt plays his ball now, Tony Anderson getting into the game, Andrew Owen, Richard Russell, well held by two Bramley forwards. Tony Anderson hatching half back now, having a run on his own. now to Ford, out to Fieldhouse Fieldhouse strong strong running but well tackled and there's no way through at this stage Ford now Ruane, Clark Clark Jinkin and then Jinkin back into the man and well tackled, rounded from action half by now, Paul going on a run, overhead basketball type pass hold them looking for the kicker and Charlie McAllister with no opportunity to keep the ball. That's a... Well, you can see there are five, five or six Oldham players, sloppy tackling. The referees wave play on and Bramley looking a little strong in this bottom corner now. Good run by the winger, Eric Alferts. Shades of a forward pass there, but the referee doesn't agree with the Oldham spectators. trying to switch play and a little kick never in any danger they're well covered by Des Ford the ball kicked and stopped where it landed and Des Ford was on hand to kick the ball over the dead ball line Bram were looking dangerous in that spell with a little bit of sloppy tackling from Oldham on the 25 line kick out by Duncan Platt Fully made the halfway line by two or three yards. Bramley now on the attack once more. We're in around in that tackle. All them keeping the Bramley forwards now in this area. Drop ball again. Austin Donegan. Mike Ford there attempting to gain ground again but well out John Fieldhouse on a run going to be ruined now out to Ford Ford inside to Paul Round inside again to Des who Des Ford finding space on one or two occasions and looking quite one of the best of the olden backs at the moment. Clark now going left out to Ford who dummies, hesitates and then turns inside to Charlie McAllister. 
Carl McAllister also dummies. Possibly did the right thing there. Hold him at sixes and sevens when McAllister was coming in field and nobody in position for the ball. back at this stage now they're testing Oldham's defence ball there down in the uh, just over the Oldham try line Anderson dummy to, dummy to Platt and uh, the dummy wasn't taken and tackle well tackled down there now and it's Duncan Platt strong run from Duncan there on the left hold on making decent ground now but need to string two or three good passes together now field house turns round over to Clark Clark to Russell who steps inside and again the ball moving now hold on from away now to Charlie McAllister attempts to push Roy Dickinson off but can't quite do so and knock on there from Des four. Substitutions there, Donegan and Russell both holding what appears to the left hand or arms. And Bramley now on a strong run here. Marcus Charles, he's going under the post, on the post. Oldham fell asleep. Everyone fell asleep. A quick break by Bramley and the ball on to Marcus Charles. Under the sticks to make the six, make the score. Oldham six, Bramley four. converted just six apiece now Oldham fell asleep completely there and Marcus Charles was allowed to run under the post on a pause to bring this cup tie back to life a little bit now six all interrupted by Marcus Charles there unfortunately when I was saying that uh, Donegan and Russell have come off, look like hand injuries, and they've been replaced by John Cogger and Keith Atkinson. So it's Platt to restart now with a long downfield kick. now with a little more life in them that try was completely against the run of play it's been all Oldham and uh, just one try one goal on the scoreboard obviously never going to be enough and Oldham are now back in with a fight to get back into this game again now still early doors of course but Bramley going to take out from that and they're coming strongly again out to Charles again who throws a bad ball out to his opposing 
Now the referee there's he's given knock on. Paul Ren bravely went for the ball, but it was never going to be, and the referee's given knock on. Forty feet and well out now. Bromley yards offside there, but the referee the referee hasn't seen it. Clark zips inside and John Cogger now into the game. Strong running from John there as always. Probably his type of game today, the conditions. Holding down there on Cogger and Duncan Platt is going to attend the conversion. Attempted conversion, but the ball goes wide. So 28 to 29 minutes gone on the clock, and Bramley now back in the game at six all when it was looking as though Oldham could make uh, get some points on the board. Keith Atkinson into the into the game now. Atkinson knock on there which Keith uh, attempting to play the ball before he was stood up or in the correct position and uh, dropped the ball and the referee's given knock on so the scrum, the scrum has now turned into a Bramley penalty and got another game on our hands here. Bramley. Oh. And slight tackling by Oldham once again. The, the Uka was on the floor and allowed to get up and carry on on his run. Bramley with the tails up at the moment now. seen it as long as he's the same for both sides we don't mind <laughs> Ford feeds and recovers well and good run by Mike Ford there now on to Clark flat over runs and out to Des Four there's Jinkin inside, well held by the Bramley, three quarters. Oldham throwing the ball out wide now. Oh. Good ball off John Field, there's her to run it away, but slippy condition and the ball's gone to ground again and it's a scrum down. Bromley's come off, little unfortunate there. So it's now Oldham in possession. Clark out to, out to Ruane, who possibly should have thrown it out to Duncan Platt, but decided not to. Clark now out to Atkinson. Atkinson. Ford now. 
Ford dummies once, dummies twice. Finds on finds Ronnie Dewayne out on the ring of the ball. Torn out to Anderson and he's, he's gone into touch. to feed and ground the possession Cogger around the scrum to get the scrum off before he can do any damage make any ground ground in possession again they seem to have quite a lot of possession in the last 10 minutes or so and all of me to try and control the game Touch John Cogger on the way through and well fielded by Duncan Platt. Platt on a good run. Good running by Duncan Platt there. Good strong run. 45 yards. Smashing run from Duncan Platt. Ball going to be thrown left now. Ford. Cogger overruns. Paul Round in possession. Tempted to get the ball out but too many men on him. Go in now to Clark. Out to Charlie McAllister. Charlie pushes one man off, but in, in doing so, drops the ball. Bramley now in possession. on so good tackle with John Cogger there it's going to be all over feed and going to be looking now to settle down when they have this ball too much ball going to ground and this cup tie anything but over at the moment Ford dummies once inside to Duncan Platt good inside ball to Platt and Platt does well plays his ball well that's back to one Everybody was in at that, and uh, all, of them have, all of them have come up with the ball with six more tackles to go. I want to run around now and pour around, not being able to make any headway on that occasion. Fieldhouse now. Charlie McAllister out to Ronnie Duane on the left here. Ronald Duane going strongly for the corner, decided not to pass. Ford now, all of them swinging the ball right. And the ball bobbling along the ground there and too low down for Paul Round to collect. Something would have been on if he had done, but uh, slippy ball and too low to the ground and Oldham couldn't make anything of it. Yet another scrum. yet again driving out of the 25 Oldham tack good tackling from Oldham there kick down field which is going to be recovered by Duncan Platt who's having a decent game Duncan Platt inside to Richard Irvin who attempts to go inside runs sideways and doesn't make a great deal of ground but the ball's safe on to John Coggan now who attempts to make headway 
to the drop the ball in the tackle all of them looking a little uneasy at the moment and not finding space but conditions possibly don't allow that Bramley still looking strong when they have the ball, They're about 3 or 4 minutes to half time if all them had any hopes of trying to get this cup tie over by half time and we're afraid they're going to be mistaken as Bromley are not going to lie down. Black must be an interception. Oh. Well it was play on and uh, first four I couldn't hold on to the ball. The ball's gone to ground. Scrum screens and Bramley come up with the ball again. Ball's gone backwards and uh, the referee waves play on. Ruin now uh, going from action half back. Cog on a run, but there's no way through. Ford on to Des Four. You can all see what happened there. The, a, a Bramley player was held back, the referee's seen it and uh, he's an awarded a penalty. So, Bramley come once again. Dickinson there, driving it in. Number 10, Gary Hall. Possibly going to try to give. All the Bramley players are offside. And Duncan Plyer has come out of that. And if he looks... If he looks left for support, a brilliant run from Duncan Platt there. Out to Anderson. Back inside to Mike Ford. A high ball bouncing higher than what Mike could reach. And at that tackle, the Uta has gone for half time. players come off there, possibly a little disappointed, scrappy first half, Holden with a try from Andrew Owen, goal from Duncan Platt, Charles with a try for Bramley and Cow with a goal, Holden six, Bramley six. second half will bring what the half time talk has been like but 
hold them eager to get back out, get on with this game now, and Duncan Platt kicks, kicks deep into the Bramley quarter. Given a forward pass there, which Mike Ford now out to, out to Clark. Duncan Clark coming inside. He's done well on two or three occasions in the first half, and I think all of them are going to be looking for Duncan, who seems to be enjoying a good spell at the moment. And Andrew Wayne now making ground. All of them need to steady, next, steady down now and make good use of the six tackles. Ford out to round, round. Out wide. Duncan Platt strongly into the attack again, but there's no way through. On the Bromley 25 line. Ruane out to field house. Third house with a strong run in. And Ruane backing up nicely there. And Oldham poised possibly to have something out of this. Field house to Ford. into Atkinson, Atkinson stands up well Gawain now ball bounces up, finishes up with Charlie McAllister who attempts to take it into the, towards the post but no way through, through there for Charlie and over now and Bramley in possession but the ball's well, there you go. Was he or wasn't he tattled? The referee says he shouted held, so he's given Bramley a free kick. but finishes up being shoved back by a powerful Bromley tackle out to Cogger Ford now is in the thick of things out to Paul Round yeah, the ball given to Paul there when he had a man on him and it was man and ball at the same time and Paul fell to fell to gather the ball with the man on him. Good tackle there, good strong tackle by Charlie McAllister and Oldham come up with the ball. Des Foy looking lively when he does get a chance. Richard Irving now. Hans had a lot to do Richard today, but what he has done is held ball, held possession, which is vital under these conditions. Run around again. I'll let you make your, make your own decisions about that. One, two, three mistakes from Oldham there. Sloppy play, sloppy, sloppy play. Just 
So Bromley in possession again, Oldham having forfeited possession. Good shot done by Cogger now. And And uh, mis misjudging the ball. And uh, Tony's timing a little out at the moment. Struggling to get back into this game and uh, misjudge, misjudge the Bromley kick completely. Well, Paul Rams come up with possession. Referees allowed play to go on and now should be looking to get some points on the board really they've been bogged down in the middle it's going to be a game of who makes the least mistakes at this stage now good strong running there from Mike Ford but can't get the ball out to his runners going to be field out now out to Clark. Clark tries the bomb. Clark's well on side. Attempting to run it out again, but strong holding, all them tackling. It's going to keep them down here. So the only way for Bromley to get out of their quarter is to kick to Oldham, and Richard Irving comes up with the ball. Can Oldham steady this this game down now? Playing in fits and starts. Away into Fieldhouse. Out to Clark. Round. Ball round doing well there with no space at all. Gives the ball out. Ball round did extremely well there under the circumstances. Out to Ford. Fieldhouse with the ball now. Well out to Des Foy, whose Des has looked lively today when he's had the ball and fully deserves his try. in the lead 10-6 at this moment with the conversion to come shouldn't be beyond Duncan Platt kicking this but who knows Duncan wisely wiping the ball away wiping the ground I should say yeah converted there by Platt take the lead now, 12-6 need to keep Bramley out now for the next few minutes make sure that they don't come back and get back in this game and then let's see Oldham down at this end again So 
Cedric covers and on to Duane. You're getting mixed up with Andy and Ronnie. Well, what can you say? Oldham again losing the ball, early tackles. Just a couple of tackles gone and... Except that the conditions are poor, but the same for both sides, and Oldham really losing far too much possession. So Bramley now in the Oldham half for the Gathered that by Richard Irving under the attack from the Bramley uh, players to the ball. Well, it was an awkward bouncing ball, and uh, Richard did well to come up with that. So, can we keep hold of it for six tackles? Fieldhouse now drives it in. to Cogger. Cogger with his usual strong runs. Ford now, long ball out to round. Trying to unleash Roundy on the uh, on the far side there, out wide. And that's a good kick to touch. Let's keep Bramley down here now and make them play their tackles out, if they do get the ball, of course. Moving them in slightly too near the touchline. Ball's going in again. Drama do come up with it. Keith getting a free kick there. So it's Platt kicks into touch and it's 20 yards or so from the Bramble line and can all them make something of this now. Finally try and kill this club tie off now. Richard Irving. running there now. Chance to put some points on the board here now. Forward out to Fieldhouse. No way through for John Fieldhouse. Brett Clark, Charlie McAllister rolls the ball. Brilliantly rolls the ball, Charlie. I should think he'd be very pleased with that. McAllister in the end with a uh, after he collects it with a slight dummy and an easy run in to the right of the post. Sixteen 
six with the conversion from Duncan Platt, conversion attempt, and uh, gives all of them a bit of leeway that now. 25 minutes or so to go left. Oldham now edging the way on top at Duncan Platt hit the ball how it should be between the between the sticks so it's running away in again making good ground running nice run off from now and hold them if they can, if they can str string some sections of sixes together this cup tie in the bag. Of course we have all the luck of the draw and the second round we're drawn away to either Workington or Old Kingston Rovers, which we don't know yet who it will be. But firstly, we've got to win this first round tie and the game far from over yet. But Oldham at 18 6. Now in the driving seat, we've just got to make sure that we stay there and cut out the mistakes. it there from the Bramley halfback. Well recovered and again on the run around. Another big second row there, Steve Edmondson with a kick towards, kick towards the corner but nothing come of it and it's a scrum down. So it's well out by Oldham there, Mike Ford making good ground now. Oldham needs to play the, uh, needs to play the ball quickly here and before Bromley can get back in position, but they've recovered sufficiently and Duncan Plant made four or five yards. Again to the left, John Cogger. The crowd goes, ooh, he was about 10 yards off him then. Nice work there, Mike Ford and Paul Round making the opening for Richard Irving, who makes good yards. Brett Clark with a little chip. Brett obstructed. Hope he's not injured. So we've won full length of the field now when McAllister puts his ball into the corner and Yet again, Oldham now. We should be getting something from this now. The Bramley tiring a little now. John Fieldhouse breaking through one tackle, going to ground. Keith Atkinson with a strong run towards the post. Good bustling run from Atkinson. Andrew Owen. Ball round there. 
attempted two or three from the players clutching at him. He's pulled, pulled an arm out and gone over. So we've got the Oldham fans shouting Wembley, Wembley now on my right hand side here. A little early for that, but uh, the Oldham spectators feeling now that uh, possibly put this game out of Bramley's reach. After a disappointing and scrappy first half, we've, we've come out in the second half and we've done the business. And that's converted by Duncan Platt. Starts now and uh, Oldham looking good for once in the game. Brett Clark making doubling back, running a little sideways, trying to find a gap in the Bromley, Bromley defence. So it's now forward. Inside to round who makes a lovely jinking run. Paul round in top form at the moment. Looking dangerous every time he gets the ball. Forward round to Charlie McAllister. Charlie goes right and dummies, but no way through. Mike Ford there took his eyes off the ball for a split second. And it's going to be the turnover. 24-6. Hold them lead. Good tackle there from Andy. And again. Andrew Wayne's gone down in that in that tackle. Slid difficultly on the ground and uh, he's receiving attention at the moment. So it's not too serious. So it's Bramley in possession now. Bramley trying to pull something out of this game. Again, the slippy ball, Duncan Platt. Difficult ball on the ground and Duncan instead of touching it with his foot went for it with his hands and uh, it's a knock on. So it's all right in the end for Bromley, the uh, half-back unsure which side he was going. Whoops.
after a Bromley attack there, Oldham have come up with the ball, the ball again going to ground off Marcus Charles. And there's two Oldham players left on the ground over there, I don't know whether they're making snowballs or what. Back up in play now and Oldham in possession. Acting half back, looking for support. Richard Irving comes inside. Ford out to Des Foy, who's attempting to to kick. Bromley now penned down in this quarter, and all them need to keep them here now. Until it's the turnover and then uh, keep them under the pressure. Good tackling by Oldham, which no, nobody can say that they haven't tackled well today. Mistakes by both sides. And a bit of a Bramley break here now. But I would think that's one of the best passes that Paul Rams had all week. Brett's going to go down with the ball here. The touch judge is on on the other side. I don't know what he's on for. I missed. I was following Brett Clark and uh, the touch judge is on for an incident. Brilliant pass to Paul around there. Get him that happened about two or three minutes ago but uh, the referee awards penalty to Bramley and it's it's on the Oldham 25 good tackle there Charlie with what she's world famous for crunching tattle there hold up come up with the ball field house cog on a run around with Ford makes five or six yards before slipping into a tackle I thought John Cogg would have been better off playing the ball there. He's elected to take a tap. The player half and half in front and at the side, but the referee's he's lent, he's lent Bramley's way and he's given Bramley the free kick. Defending well on the 25. Bromley now trying to get something out of this cup tie. Well, oh, there's no way through at the moment for the Bromley. The Oldham defence. Not taking any dummies, standing its ground and defending well. Mike Ford up there, well, well onto the ball. Ball had gone astray, Mike Ford chasing the ball as ever, Ford. Richard Irving chasing back now. pick up from Richard with a couple of men on him and he recovered well. Duncan Platt now. Breaks out of one tackle. Fourth to second and third. 
quick, good quick play of the ball for gives Oldham a chance. Run it away. Good break there from Ruane. All round again. Difficult to tackle. Takes one, two, three Bramley men. Still doesn't go down. Clark making in rolls. A good inside ball to Mike Ford. Will he make it? Inches short. Richard Irvin. Richard Irvin in at the corner there. Holden recovered well when the ball could have gone to ground, but Holden uh, recovered well there. Pretty sure with Richard Irvin going in at the corner after Mike Ford had gone within inches, within inches of going in quite near to the post. With uh, 10 minutes or so left, 28-6 to Oldham. Surely this cup tie now has uh, gone Oldham's way after a difficult and frustrating first half. Oldham have come good in the second half. Conditions. Not at their best, as you can obviously see. This would be a good one for Duncan to kick. What are you betting? I'll have a pound he gets it. Well, I never was any good. Even on the horses. I just fancied Duncan for getting that one actually, but never mind. Back to the game. Fulham 28, Bramley 6. things John Cover as always going blind giving his forwards a chance to recover and regroup Clark at and half back out to Mike Ford Charlie McAllister shoot dummies off one shimmies off another good run from Charlie there Lister been sent off there. Uh, Tony Anderson coming inside, and uh, the referees are judged that uh, it, was a, it was an illegal tackle. there that uh, John Fieldhouse has won the Silk Cup Challenge Cup man of the match and a, a dour performance by Oldham sparkling at times so Bramley down to 12 men now after the sending off of uh, 
Number three, Peter Lister, on a legal tackle on uh, Tony Anderson. Holding with plenty over on this side now. Keith Atkinson going. John Fieldhouse going for the corner. Out to Tony Anderson. Nice ball inside of Tony Anderson into Mike Ford. Takes it infield to make the goal kick. Sparkling Oldham attacking player there. Mike Ford in. Fine here to the sticks now. We'll put this game beyond any doubt. The, the conversion to come, it's Oldham 32, Gramley 6, Gramley down to 12 men. there by Duncan Platt which brings the score to Oldham 34, Bramley 6 So Bramley substitutes in the last minutes Edmondson and Blank Edmondson and Hall are uh, being replaced by Green and Fletcher. <laughs> so all of them on the attack now, in command of the game now. Keith Atkinson uh, tackled and a uh, bit of a fracas, uh, nothing, nothing too deadly serious. And uh, play goes on now. Tackle now, Bramley with the chip to the corner. Ball recovered by Duncan Platt over the try line. Steady it is. Oh, Richard Irving, good run there. Ball off Paul round and slipped one tackle, nearly slipped a second, but just unable to do so. Forward now. Forward again. Back to Ruane. Forward again. Out to Charler. Forward. Space on the left for Duncan Platt. Good inside ball to Forward. Andy Ruane well backed up. Good team effort there. Good backing up. Platt. Forward and then on to Andy Ruane. The goal's in. To make the score 38 6. All of them coming good in the second half. Six, six all at half time and 
Baldwin will put all the points on the board in the second half. attempt by Duncan Platt oh, just inches wide of the right hand post good attempt by Duncan the old spectators is now making towards the exits <laughs> Going into the bath after a cup tie win at Bramley. Difficult first half, but they've come good in the second half. Just, just waiting for the ball at the moment. The clock's been stopped. Possibly a couple of minutes left, two or three minutes. Bit of stoppage time. style uh, kickoff sending the ball 10 yards and uh, maybe a 60-40 chance of getting the ball Paul Round is having a devastating spell at the moment Paul's been hit by an eye tackle there I can't make out who it was but uh, he's left him spread eagle. And uh, one wonders, Peter Lister hadn't been sent over a few moments ago, what action the referee would have taken there, he would have taken it any further. Paul round off the ball, taking head eye. So let's stick another six points on the board and uh, make him pay for that. Paul round nearly, do, nearly doing the damage there as the final whistle goes in this uh, difficult cup tie at Bramley. Oldham eventually finishing up winners by 38 points to six. Tries from Ruane, Four, McAllister, Brown, Irvin, and Mike Ford. And uh, Duncan Platt kicking a few goals. Oldham 38, Bramley six. Thank <laughs> you.